Welcome to Unit Circle Survival Guide. Today we're going to find the exact value of cotangent 3 pi over 2. And we're going to use the Sark method, but we're going to be able to simplify it a lot because our angle is what's called a quadrantal. And all that means is that its terminal side falls on an axis. I love finding exact values with quadrantals because you get to simplify so much. Um, we'll actually simplify it to S and C. Uh, we won't have any angles to worry about within quadrants because again our angle is on an axis, the terminal side is, and then of course you won't have a reference triangle because you have just a simple line. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So here's our simplified template. We'll first sketch the angles terminal side. We'll find the coordinates easily from there and then we'll calculate our trig ratio for cotangent of 3 pi over 2. All right, so our angles and radians, it's positive, so we'll rotate counterclockwise, counting zero, pi over two, pi, and three pi over two. So remember, we're working on a unit circle here, kind of imagining that. Here's the origin. Here's our angle's terminal side on three pi over two, and that means we have our point here. And remember, the radius of the unit circle is one, so to move from the origin down a unit, this ordered pair must be 0, negative 1. And now we can calculate our cotangent ratio. So remember, our cotangent ratio for angles on the unit circle is simply our x divided by our y. And here, that's a really nice, easy calculation. We have 0 divided by negative 1, which, of course, is going to be 0. So the cotangent of 3 pi over 2 is 0. One neat observation to make here is that if you were to graph y equals cotangent x, you would see an x-intercept, or what's called a zero, um, at 3 pi over 2. And so when we say the exact value of cotangent at 3 pi over 2 is zero, that's the graphical connection. All right, so that's all there is to finding exact values using the simplified SARC, S and C for quadrantals. Um, be sure to check the video description for links to more worked examples of regular angles and quadrantals, and for help with any other unit circle topic you may need. Thanks for watching.